hello guys in this video our example i'm going to show you how to integrate pdx qdy using green's theorem where p is this equation over here and q is this equation over here where c is closed by the curves y equals x squared and y squared equals x that means y equals root x over here therefore for us to get the integral we have to get first get the limits and here to get the limits we have to to find the points of intersection where y equals y that's that's where the two curves intersect and that is given by root x which is equal to x squared we could we square both sides we get x equals x power 4 and x minus x should be equal to 0 therefore when we fact out x we get x equals 0 or 1 now from there the second step is to is to find the values of y when x is 0 and when x is 1 and get y 0 and x is 1 now from there we let 2xy minus x squared from the original equation up here and x plus y squared be equal to p and and q respectively q is here and apply the green's theorem that the integral p dx q dy is equal to the double integral partial of partial derivative of q with respect to x minus partial derivative of p with respect to y dx dy first step is to find the dp dy integrate dp d no you find the derivative of p with respect to y partial derivative and the partial derivative of p with respect to y is 2x remember here we taking we are taking 2x to be a constant therefore when we find the derivative we only remain with the constant x squared is a constant when you find that derivative you get zero so dp dy is equal to 2x and partial derivative of q with respect to x is equal to 1 from there we find the integral the double integral that is using we apply green's theorem in this formula here it's the double it's given by the the double the integral between P dx and Q dy is given by the double integral of the partial derivatives of P with respect to Y and O and Q with respect to X that is Q dx minus P P D Y partial derivative we integrate from the limits along the x axis 0 to 1 and along the y axis x squared to root x root x is 
we have a limit now this takes us to the rail working over here we know that we know using using this equation using this equation here we have to find first the inner integral with respect to dy dy that is 1 minus 2x the integral from x squared to root x of 1 minus 2x with respect to dy then we find the outer integral with respect to dx and this is equal to the integral from x equals 0 to 1 of of when we integrate 1 we get y and when we integrate 2x we get 2xy with respect to y that is then this is from x squared to root x dx and this gives us the integral from 0 to 1 of when we replace y with root x that is root x minus two x x power one x power half that's one and a half that's three over two you subtract you replace x squared that becomes replace y with x squared that becomes x squared minus minus that means positive so we add two x cubed x from there we need to find the integral from 0 to 1 of this and this is repetition so I need to do something little different here find the integral there this is uh, x power half x power half that means we add 1 on the power that becomes 1 and a half 1.5 over 1.5 that's 2 over 3 x power 3 over 2 there is the integral of root x we subtract 2 2 x power power 2.5 over 2.5 then we subtract is x cubed over 3 and we add this is 2x power 4 
is equals you replace one here you get two over three minus you replace one here we get two over two point five that's that's four over five minus minus a third We add a we subtract when you we replace zero in this equation zero with x we get zero this gives us our final answer which is which is one one out of that equivalent to zero point zero three 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 thank you for watching please subscribe like and share